Stanford. Bucks have only taken one shot two minutes into the first half. And finally, Tevin Glass inside lays it off the glass and good. Similar to Greg Dennis for ETSU back in the day. Ike Banks, couple shoulder, head and shoulder fakes, then a hook shot's up and good over Toyo. That's what you have to do to a shot blocker, you go at him. Rebound, Jermaine Long. He'll bring it into the front court. He does not have numbers. Ike Banks with it. Banks trying to work against London. Nice move and a hook shot. Good. Ike Banks, the big easy with four. Now well outside the arc. Burrell swings it near side. Jermaine Long. Long trying to get past Dixon. Drives. Leaves it. Ike Banks shot off the glass. Good. Banks three for three. He's got six. Bradford front court. Buck still down two. 10.30 to go first half. Ike Banks dribbling, turn around, hook shot, high, Arkings, good. Payne with a basketball, over to Glass, so go to left side to Bradford. Bradford, back to Devontavious Payne to TJ Cromer. Cromer lobs inside, Tevin Glass catches, lays it up and in, good, right hand, right side. Bradford with a strip, got two men running, Merriweather all the way to the hoop, he bell out pass to Cromer, sidestep shot for three, it's up and in. TJ Cromer knocks down a three. Looking for Cromer, head of the key, wants another one, wants a 10-point run, and he got it. T.J. Cromer, back-to-back -back trays, head of the key. Cromer, inside the glass, shot fake, then puts it up over Jones, and it hangs and it goes. Boy, the Bucks have got a few friendly rolls here in Chattanooga. Chapman with a steal all the way down, and Bradford just swatted it off the backboard. Merriweather, shot fake, left open. He pulls the trigger, 15-footer, good. Bradford eyeing things up, drives, kicks in the corner, wide open, Merriweather, he rattles it in. A.J. Merriweather cashes it from the corner. He'll go baseline, he slipped, he fell, stolen by Cromer. Toyo arguing, needs to get down on defense. Cromer drives, he's fouled in the bucket, good. Cromer with the basketball inside to Ike Banks. He had a huge first half, eight points against Justin Toyo. Over to Merriweather, pull-up jumper over Toyo is up and good, and A.J. Merriweather with nine points, and the Bucks have gone at Toyo here. That's not even close to goaltending, it wasn't going up. With the basketball, Mascara Perea to Jermaine Long, eyes at three, bucket on the other end, Jermaine Long, timeout, Matty McCall. Bradford after the inbounds play, over to Mascara Perea, they double team Honor. Hunter inside to Burrell, spins, left-handed hook shot, good. David Burrell did a good job trying to hand off to Jermaine Long with 15 on the shot clock. Long trying to get to the rim, he did, and he laid it up and in. Boy, Jermaine Long, he's had a nice game. Cromer inside Mascara Perea against the double team. Pass fake, finds Merriweather, clean look, and he nailed it. Absolutely nothing but net. 15 for A.J. Merriweather. For the basketball, Cromer, that's his third steal. Class trying to drive down the lane against Toyo. Left-hand layup, good. Went right at the big fella. He's got eight. That's what you do to a shot. Bury him. Folks starting to get their jackets, heading for the exits. I love it. Bradford with a basketball. Shot fake. Got his man in the air. Toyo fouled him. Scored the bucket and one. 20-point lead. Could be 21. And he'll go to DeSante Bradford, 2.30 to go, and Cromer wants a three, and he hit it. T.J. Cromer has now passed Keith Mr. Jennings with 85 made threes. Well, I say that, and then they put a little pressure on Bradford. I thought they were going to be content to let the Bucks go, and now T.J. Cromer's now tied Courtney Pegram fourth all time. You know that Chattanooga has to play well, all five guys, because they don't have a 40-point score, and it just wasn't there today with all five. McLean rims out, long rebounds. And that's the way the game ends. ETSU with a big win, 65-51 against the Chattanooga Mox. 65-51, Coach, the first thing I'm going to focus in on in the second half, you had 11 steals on their 13 turnovers and 21 points off the turnovers, and that was a big spurn in that 17 nothing run. It really gave you command of the game. Well, I thought, you know, our defensive presence the entire game really set the tone, you know, for our win. And we were changing defenses and changing ball, ball screen coverages throughout the game, and I thought it confused them a little bit. You know, um, we uh, iced some ball screens. We hedged some ball screens. We played 1-3-1 um, a bunch. And so, you know, I thought it was uh, 
just I thought we kind of kept them off balance, you know, and they they just never could really crack the code, and you know they didn't shoot it well, and but we converted, you know, when we stole the ball. But the, another big key, again, is we out rebounded them, and they only got 12 free throws, and we only got 11. You know, I'm, again, I go back to last year, they they outscored us by a astronomical number at the free throw line, and, and we knew coming into this season that could not happen. I thought we did a really good job of defending without fouling till kind of the end when they really just were driving the ball and that's kind of why we went to the to the one three one. Um, you know, Coach Shea did an unbelievable job scouting them. Uh, we iced them. Like I said, we did a lot of different things to try to keep them off balance and I thought we did a really good job. The the one question I was going to ask you about defense, what were you particularly doing you think that frustrated them? Because they had seen a, a lot of almost unforced turnovers as well as some ball well, pressure turnovers. I think the zone, I think the one three one, you know, we're really long. You know, with Tevin up top there at six eight, it causes a lot of issues. And then, you know, we kind of sink back on the shooters. And so there's really not a lot you can do but maybe try to drive the ball. And, you know, Hunter's standing right there in the middle. And Hunter does a really good job of moving his feet. So I thought that hurt him a little bit. We iced the ball. We didn't ice in the first first half we iced in the second half I thought that got us off to a good start even though they came out 7-0 run I almost had to call timeout but we kind of you know we got going again and then we went back to hedging the ball screen so those different kind of looks I think Jay just kind of kept them off balance you know AJ Merriweather kind of got again started the second half he kind of got things going defensively and then he also had a few big shots for oh, you man. that kind of got the offense rolling AJ's played so well this year I mean I I, I can't say he's six or seven from the field two for three from three made a big three in the corner you know that's just kind of that was it you know that was kind of the nail in the coffin and man he you know he had four assists he, he defended McLean had 11 but he had six of those I think at the end when we were you know he, he did two, a couple threes, threes late so, um, he's been great you know Tevin Glass what can you say we've played two conference games against uh, Sanford and and now today, he didn't miss a shot. He's 12 for 12 from the field this week. And he was 7 out of 10 from the field against uh, against uh, Chad, uh, Chad the last time. And I'm going to be – I'll tell you at home, I'm the hardest on him on any player on our team. I, 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 I ride him like a donkey. I do. And, and I, because I know he can take it and I know – that it's going to rub off on the rest of the team. And, and I, I told you after the game against Sanford, we're going to get this defense right. And uh, we got it right. And uh, we did a really good job today defending.